Hello and welcome to the A-Frame Web VR tutorial series and in this video we're going to cover what A-Frame is and setting up A-Frame so we can be used in all our other videos. So what is A-Frame? I think you might have guessed because I said A-Frame Web VR it's a virtual reality framework for the web. So let's show you some examples before we start doing any sort of coding. So if you go to A-Frame io this is their website it's completely free it's open source so you can check it out there's a bunch of great links on here if you go to the mozilla vr it's a great link there's a whole heap of resources at the moment virtual reality is still in its early days there are some frameworks out there a frame is one of them but it's i would say the industry the virtual reality industry is just finding its footing at the moment in terms of the predominant framework let's say the sort of hardware that you're using so this is still early days so it's a great time to jump on and actually get used to the technologies and not just the technologies the actual ideas behind virtual reality themselves so let's click on 360 video and it's just loading up at the moment as you can see so we can move around. So if you see this little icon here, this allows you to go into VR mode. It says your browser does not support web VR, and that's because I'm on a computer, not on a mobile phone. But if you visit this on a mobile phone, you'll be able to press this button. Just make sure you have it in landscape mode. Get some sort of VR headset that is highly recommended, something like Google Cardboard. What I have is, actually, I can't quite remember the name. I'm, I'm just gonna actually take it out so I can have a look. Yeah, that is a, it was literally in the computer desk drawer. It's called Merge VR. This is the one I would recommend. It's a bit more expensive than most other, I would say, it, it, it's essentially a Google Cardboard type headset. It's more expensive than those, but it's a lot more comfortable than most of them. It has a strap compared to quite a few of them don't have straps and then the other key aspect are these two buttons if you click them in it well, touches the screen on the left or the right side which is great and if you can move them in and out which allows you to change how close well your virtual eyes are so it helps adjust for your eyes so you don't get a blurry effect and you can pop this little part out which allows you to use the camera if the application used a camera but yeah this is the headset i will recommend i'm just going to be testing it in my web browser you can host it on some sort of web server and test it on a mobile device you could remotely test it however you want okay another thing i want to cover is a few prerequisites it'd be recommended that you have a good understanding of html CSS basically web development as a whole before covering a frame if you want some more tips about web development check out our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description to that so let's well start so if I just go back to the home page if you click get started and if you scroll down you can see a bunch of different resources so we are using this right here instead of downloading the actual javascript file and including it we're just going to include it over the internet over the air so yeah we can actually get started now latest version 0 0.2.0 is still very early so another thing i forgot to mention is that you will want some sort of web server whether it's a local web server or whether it's a server hosted on some well, some sort of server somewhere, whether it's GoDaddy, one on one, Bluehost, whoever it is, simply because certain aspects of A frame when you're loading external resources doesn't work very well without a server. So that's the reason you're going to want it. I'm using XAMP, which is fantastic, it's free, it's cross platform, works on Linux, Mac and Windows. Sports, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and Perl. We're not going to be dealing with the PHP and Perl side, or even the uh, the MySQL side. It's literally we're just 
interested in having a server. So mine's already running. Yep, it's already running. And the next thing I'm going to show you is the folder where it is. So it's in the localhost HT, I mean, example. HT Docs folder, a frame, but again, depending on what sort of server you're using, it may be different. So in here, we're going to create a index file. So I'm going to drag this onto my text editor. So he opens it up, and if I right-click, new file, basic stuff. I'm going to just going to save it as index.html. You can name it whatever you want. And first of all, let's do a doc type. Now let's do some HTML tags and inside here I'm going to do a body tag, I forgot the header tag, so head, a header, sorry I meant to say head because header tag is something separate that usually will go in the body, my bad, and here is where we're going to include our file, script, all of this should be basic stuff to you because like I said, you should have a basic understanding of web development for starting this tutorial. So it's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. You know what? <laughs> Instead of me trying to type it out, I'm going to just copy it from here. I'm just interested in the A frame minified version. If you need the regular version for whatever reason, feel free to use that one. And now we're actually ready to start coding. So first thing we want to do is create a scene. This is everything that our world will exist within. So save that. And now let's open open our browser up. Go to our web server. So localhost for slash a frame. It's loaded up successfully. As you can see, we've got this little icon in the bottom right. That's probably the best way of knowing if it's successfully being set up and another way is right clicking inspect making sure there's no errors or warnings in the console and it's saying our a-frame version our free js version our web vr polyfill version and etc 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 so this is the a-frame tutorial on setting up we're not going to do anything more than that because anything beyond this actually starts coding up our objects lighting that sort of stuff i'm going to be covering all of that good stuff in separate videos if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk there will be a link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and if you didn't like the video please leave us a comment as well so we can improve it for next time and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day